Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to provide you with an overview of various document libraries we have in SharePoint. Now, as you work with SharePoint, as we all work with SharePoint, uh, it's quite common to think that uh, the only library that exists out there is just this document library where we manage uh, files and folders, documents for a SharePoint site. Just like you see here on the screen, I have this HR team site. It's a team site, part of an office uh, Microsoft 365 group. And of course, each and every site by default had a, has a document library, which is what you see here. And this is where we organize documents. Uh, however, this is not a document library that exists, the only document library that exists on, on that particular site. Uh, we actually have some other libraries as well that are necessary for this site to function. And that's exactly what I would like to explain to you in this particular video. If you don't mind, I'll use my other site just uh, to explain this concept. So I'm just on a communication site, not a team site right now, but uh, really the, um, you know, the libraries, uh, the same libraries exist uh, in, all, in, in, in all the different types of sites, doesn't really matter. So if I click, you know, gear icon, site contents, uh, I will see pretty much all the various lists and libraries that exist uh, on a site. And here is my documents library. This one is the default document library that got created when I created the site. Of course, this is the library where um, you would normally upload your files and folders. Um, in my case, I don't have anything, but this is where you would upload your files and folders into. All right, so your office documents, PDF documents, you know, other types of documents. Uh, if you notice, however, that this is not the only document library we have. We have other libraries as well. And let me explain to you uh, the objective. Um, you know, some of them are more of kind of, you know, legacy, uh, you know, legacy, um, uh, you know, uh, libraries that we used with a classic SharePoint. So I'm not going to go over those, but the two additional libraries I would like to focus your attention on uh, is this site pages library and site assets library. Uh, let me start with the site pages library. Uh, you notice over here, it says it's a page library. So essentially, what is a site pages library? It's a library for pages, all right? Just like we have a library for documents, you know, for Word, Excel, PDFs, you know, PowerPoint, etc. the pages library contains pages. So let me click here and let's see what I have in my scenario. So this is essentially a library that has all the pages. Now, by default, when you create a new, um, you know, SharePoint site, you only get one page, the home page. Here it is. This is the same page, right? I showed you uh, previously, essentially my main you know, page. However, you can create as many pages as you want, right? Users can create pages. Every time somebody creates uh, a new uh, news post, for example, uh, in the news widget, it creates a page behind the scenes. So if I go back to my site pages library again, in my case, you see I have this main page and I have two additional pages to store my news posts uh, that I have on my site. So long story short, this is not a library you would use to organize your documents, obviously, right? This is a special library just for pages. And as you create your additional pages by adding a page or adding new news posts, all of these pages will end up here. It does you know, behave and look and feel just like any other library, all right? Just like a regular document library, but uh, it's specifically created, specifically designed for the pages, not documents, all right? Uh, the other library I wanted to highlight your attention to is the Site Assets Library. What is a Site Assets Library? Let me click, all right? Essentially, think of this as a catch-all kind of library, uh, a library that is necessary for your site to work. Uh, every time you do something cosmetic about your site, like upload a logo, for example, the logo ends up in that site assets library. When you create your new, you know, posts with the news and announcements, all right, and you add images and stuff like that, guess where those images end up? They end up in the site assets library. So let me click on this library again and um, you know, here, here are my different, uh, you know, logos that I, I, I used on my site. And if I click here on this folder that got automatically created, you see the thing is about this library, it's not something you really go into and create folders in. It's a library that kind of, 
you know, builds itself as you uh, create additional pages, set images, you know, et cetera. Um, and you see here for all my different news posts, a folder got created with an image to support that particular, you know, announcement that I had. All right, so think of the site assets library as this catch all kind of place where uh, essentially it's a library that is necessary for your site to work. All right. So probably I should not even mention that, but try not to go here and delete stuff uh, because obviously if you delete images, if you delete you know stuff from here, it will affect the look and feel of your site. Uh, one other thing I want to mention about the site assets library, uh, it's also a library where your OneNote resides as well. Uh, I didn't have this on, I, I couldn't show it to you on my communication side because uh, communication sites do not have a OneNote um, uh, OneNote app, you know, created on the site, just the team sites. So if I'm on the team site right now, if I go to gear icon site contents and let's navigate to site assets library. All right. You will notice the OneNote notebook that resides here as well. And essentially it's a, the same OneNote notebook. You usually get to see a link uh, from the left-hand side uh, to the notebook, but essentially that notebook resides in, in the site assets library uh, on that particular on that particular site. This is the same, by the way, one not notebook that you can access from Microsoft Teams. If you happen to have, you know, a, a team in Teams, uh, right? Uh, um, you know, for 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 your Office 365 group, and you uh, add a link to one not notebook, right? Uh, as a tab, maybe uh, in your in one of the channels. Uh, guess where the link is pointing to? It's pointing to this notebook, it's pointed to the notebook that resides in the site assets library on your SharePoint site, all right? So that's all I wanted to explain to you. Uh, again, in addition to the uh, regular document library, we have uh, those two other main, uh, you know, very important uh, libraries as well. We have the pages library as well as the site assets library. Uh, so I want to make sure you understand what they are and hopefully you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.